Wednesday is always a favorite for Amanda and myself because it's a knit along day. Yes. <laughs> and you know we like to show off your projects. Now this one is from Tatum Manor. Now that name sounds familiar. You hear director Tim Manor's name on the air. We, we shout him out quite yep. a bit. Well his daughter <laughs> made this. It isn't knit or crochet. But it's still in the fiber family. It's a yarn project. Yes it's called a coiled yarn bowl. It took about two weeks of class time for her to make this and they were told to pick colors that they care about so she if you notice the green and white here yes. um, she wanted to make something to remember the victims of the Michigan State shooting mm -hmm. um, where she wants to go there and become a veterinarian yeah so great work Tatum yeah. this is very cool very very cool yes yeah, so there um, she is uh, you know holding that there and it turned out fantastic I don't know how to do that though so she'll we'll have to have we'll her have on she to, can teach us she'll have to teach us how to do it and obviously she needs yarn uh, to yes. make uh, something like a bowl like that and um, we've got yarn this morning don't we yes yeah. of course you can uh, <laughs> find it at a lot of locations yeah. of course and it's kind of busy because we uh, you know not only want to show off projects but we have to make the projects mm -hmm. with the yarn. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're excited about a local event here for the Knit Along. Yes, uh, Deb Yeagle and Nancy Kovacs join us from the Black Swamp Spinners Guild. Good Hi. morning, you've got a big show Good coming morning. up. I have had several people reach out and say, Big show Gotta at the there. Wood County Fairgrounds <laughs> on, what is it, the 25th? 25th, Saturday. 9 to 4. Okay, right there. We'll have the information there on your screen. Uh, so mark it on your calendars. Right, and so what all is going to be going on yeah. this Saturday? Let's start there. We have vendors mm -hmm. all day. We've got, what, how many, 33, 34? 33 vendors, yes. Having some type of fiber. <laughs> regular, this is, this makes this. Mm -hmm. oh, and wow. then we'll have right. yes. things that are made. So just a large. Yeah, plus everything you need. Yes. Everything, everything from you need. the original fleece mm -hmm. through processed fleece, which is the brown mm -hmm. is roving to finished yarn and a lot of our vendors uh, make their yarn from their own animals I mean, and do their own dyeing and they're called indie dyers if they do their mm -hmm. own dyeing and just beautiful yarn mm -hmm. yeah. yes i was wondering are a lot of these vendors local or are they at least coming regionally to the uh, event most are from ohio but we have michigan mm -hmm. pennsylvania and indiana okay. also and illinois oh wow, oh, wow. Yeah. and we also have yeah. felting Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And people weaving, so yes. and we'll have people showing how to do it. So if people want to try it, they'll be able to do that also. Right. Yeah, I'm looking at this. Did you make yes. this? Yes. <laughs> I, I spun it. <laughs> wow. And then my friend knit it. it. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We've, and we've got a wheel. I was going to say, you, you, you're here spinning. <laughs> you were spinning just a little bit ago. So can, yeah. you, give you, can yeah. you give us a preview of what yeah. we'll see this on Saturday? This is a Luad a folding wheel. You can put it in a backpack and take it on an airplane. <laughs> it's oh made goodness. in Holland. <laughs> Uh, there are many kinds of spinning wheels. This one just happens to be a little one I bring along. Uh, I have rather a herd of them at home. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is uh, so you it's, it's very meditative ah, okay. and, very, and very much fun. I'm a, I'm a big spinner. I'm a newbie knitter. <laughs> um, well, we we got to really, learn somewhere. Yeah. I need to, to learn better knitting, but I'm more interested in the process and, mm -hmm. and how uh, making your own textiles has evolved over the years mm -hmm. and how it's affected um, civilization. Yeah, absolutely, right? Yeah. We went to Sauter Village, remember? Yes, and we mm -hmm. were learning spinning there. Mm -hmm. So how long have both of you been spinning? 1979. Yeah. So and I had a baby in a little basket in <laughs> Fremont, Ohio. Wow. Yeah. And somebody just like sat here and here, and the baby was here, and I learned. <laughs> because I had, I had sheep my whole life. Mm -hmm. So oh, this, is, this is out of my she's sheep. She's an art oh, teacher. Wow. And this that one is Merino. Oh, oh, yes, and, okay. And there's... We've worked with that quite a bit, haven't yes. we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. yep, there's a lot of... And I had llamas, alpacas. Now we're getting old, so we have to move <laughs> down the street, but we're still going to be on the same street. I never had that. any animals. I have friends with animals. Mm -hmm. But um, I learned to spin in 2014 at John Campbell Folk School in Brasstown, North Carolina. Oh. Um, so I had just retired, and I had always been interested in spinning, but then there were children, and then there was work, and, you know, so after I retired, 
I got one of their catalogs, and Maggie Casey is a famous international teacher. So I picked out her class, and I handed the catalog to my husband and said, what do you want to take? <laughs> so we went to Brass Town. All right. Uh, and you're there for a whole week, and by the end of the week, you're, you're spinning. You're spinning. Yeah. You know, why yeah. is it so important that we keep this craft and the, this skill going? Um, I, I think it's people have lost their connection with uh, textiles. You know, you just go to Target and buy a t-shirt sure. and you have no idea years ago that most of people's days, if they weren't growing food, they were making textiles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And not only from animals, but what we call bast fibers, uh, linen. Mm -hmm. You can spin anything. You can spin milkweed fluff. <laughs> uh, bam some of my, my yarn that I made uh, has got bamboo in it. Wow. And silk and what people used to make uh, clothing, and not only clothing, but rugs and sails and, you know, all everything the things was we all need. based <laughs> on textile production. Yes, and wow, even, very important. Even mm -hmm. beyond the event, of course, for folks who want to get into spinning, they can join you, you know, year-round. Yes. It's not just the weekend. We Tell meet us. the second Tuesday of every month at Random Acts of uh, Walbridge right now. It's where, uh, from 11 to 2, and we're going to have a learn to spin event coming up where you can come and play with the wheels or <laughs> use a drop spindle and get into it. Okay. Oh, it's a starting yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. And even yeah. this weekend, of course, remind us the dates, times for the expo this weekend. It's at the Bowling Green Fairgrounds, the Junior Fair building from 9 to 4 Saturday. Uh, March 25th, we will have Toledo Chuck Wagon and Detroit Mini Donuts. Gotta have some food. Mm. <laughs> you go, yeah, gotta have food to sustain your, <laughs> and you will be able to Shopping. see weaving demonstrations, spinning demonstrations, talk to people about it and mm -hmm. how it's done, and and we're a very friendly group. <laughs> <laughs> and you could stock up too, right? Oh, and yeah. bring your kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We would like children. that. We like kids, and they'll get to touch things yeah. and, it's and, hands show them. and yeah. teaching it that too as it you is. said where did your shirt come from <laughs> teach, <laughs> teach some lessons yes. ladies thank yes. you so much for coming today mark your calendars it's the big one coming up this weekend thank you for being here today thank, thank you, you for, for having, having us absolutely absolutely yeah.